Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic today. I'm so excited for this video because we're diving into one of my absolute favorite topics, the Queen's Gambit series. If you haven't watched it yet, oh boy, you're in for a treat. Let's start with a quick rundown of what we'll be doing today. I recently created a fan art piece featuring two beloved characters from the show, Benny and Beth. And guess what? I'm going to show you how I brought them to life on canvas. So, if you're a fan of the series or just enjoy some good old-fashioned art, you're in the right place. First things first, let's settle in and make ourselves comfortable. Grab your favorite drink, maybe a cozy blanket, and let's create a space where we can simply chat and geek out about this fantastic show. Now, let's dive into what we have in store for today. Picture this, I've recently poured my heart and soul into a fan art masterpiece featuring two iconic characters from The Queen's Gambit, Benny and Beth. And guess what? I'll be taking you along on this artistic adventure. So, if you're a fan of the series or just appreciate the art of creating, you're in for a real treat. But before we jump into the art process, Let's talk about the show itself. The Queen's Gambit has taken the world by storm, and rightfully so. Set in the 1950s and 60s, it follows the extraordinary journey of Beth Harmon, a prodigious chess genius. Her story will grip you from the very first episode, as you witness her triumphs, struggles, and everything in between. This show beautifully captures the essence of chess, bringing this ancient game to life on the screen. You'll be mesmerized by the intricacies of the game, the strategic moves, and the psychological battles that unfold. It's a true masterpiece that delves deep into the world of chess and leaves you in awe of the brilliant minds behind the game. Now, let's talk about Benny. Oh. My. Goodness. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this ridiculously attractive character? From those piercing eyes that seem to hold secrets to his charismatic and suave personality, Benny has me swooning every single time he appears on screen. I must confess, I've fallen into a slight obsession with his character. Okay, who am I kidding? I'm head over heels for him. Can you blame me though? I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, this man is a work of art himself. Of course, we can't forget about the incredible Beth Harmon. Her talent and dedication to chess are awe-inspiring. Watching her navigate the challenges and triumphs in a male-dominated world is empowering. She's a strong and resilient character, and her journey is one that will resonate with anyone who appreciates determination and the pursuit of excellence. Ah, uh, behind the scenes facts about the Queen's Gambit. I'm delighted to share some fascinating tidbits that will add an extra layer of appreciation to this incredible series. So, let's dive into the behind the scenes magic that made the Queen's Gambit come to life. First off, did you know that the series is actually based on a novel of the same name by Walter Tevis? It was published in 1983 and became a beloved book among chess enthusiasts. The adaptation for the small screen was masterfully done, capturing the essence of the story while introducing stunning visuals and captivating performances. Speaking of performances, let's talk about the phenomenal Anya Taylor-Joy, who portrayed our brilliant protagonist, Beth Harmon. It's hard to imagine anyone else stepping into those shoes, but did you know that Anya actually had to learn chess from scratch for the role? She dedicated a significant amount of time to studying the game, working with a chess consultant to ensure her moves and gameplay were authentic. Her dedication truly shines through in her performance. Now, let's shift our attention to the production design and the meticulous attention to detail that went into recreating the 1950s and 60s era. From the stunning costumes to the vintage set designs, every aspect was carefully crafted to transport us back in time. The art department and set decorators deserve a standing ovation for their remarkable work in creating an authentic and immersive world. But it doesn't stop there. The chess matches themselves required a level of technical expertise to accurately represent the game on screen. The production team enlisted the help of chess consultant Bruce Pondolfini, a renowned chess coach and author, to ensure the chess scenes were not only visually compelling but also tactically accurate. This attention to detail elevated the series and added an extra layer of authenticity. Here's an interesting fact, the Queen's Gambit garnered a massive following and had a significant impact on the chess community. The series sparked a resurgence of interest in the game, leading to a surge in chess set sales and a surge in online chess play. 
It's remarkable how a TV show can have such a profound effect on popular culture and inspire people to engage in a centuries-old game. One fascinating fact is that Anya Taylor-Joy, who played the role of Beth Harmon, is actually a natural blonde. To transform into the iconic redhead we see on screen, Anya had to dye her hair and wear wigs throughout the filming of the series. It's impressive how convincingly she portrayed the character, considering the striking contrast between her natural hair color and Beth's signature fiery locks. Now, let's shift our attention to Thomas Brody Sangster, who portrayed the enigmatic and talented chess player, Benny Watts. Thomas had to undergo a physical transformation for the role. To fully embody the character, he grew a mustache, which became Benny's trademark. It's always interesting to see how an actor's appearance can contribute to the authenticity and depth of a character. But that's not the only peculiar detail about Thomas's portrayal of Benny. During the filming, Thomas discovered that wearing a small knife hidden in his clothing helped him better connect with the character. This unconventional choice added a layer of complexity to Benny's persona, reflecting his guarded nature and the constant sense of self-defense. It's intriguing to learn how actors find unique ways to immerse themselves in their roles. Another fascinating aspect is the attention to detail in the costumes. The series impeccably captures the fashion trends of the 1950s and 60s, and the costumes play a crucial role in setting the tone and atmosphere of the era. The costume designers meticulously researched the fashion of the time period, from the elegant dresses to the tailored suits and accessories. It's a testament to the dedication and commitment of the entire production team. Let's not forget the mesmerizing chess sequences. While the actors didn't actually play full games of chess during filming, they learned specific moves and sequences to ensure authenticity in their performances. This required a combination of choreography, planning, and visual effects to create the illusion of complex chess matches on screen. The result is a captivating visual representation of the strategic battles unfolding in the characters' minds. Lastly, the series showcases the power of collaboration. Director Scott Frank worked closely with co-creator and executive producer Ellen Scott to bring the story to life. Their shared vision, along with the contributions of the entire cast and crew, led to the creation of a series that resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. It's a testament to the magic that can be achieved when talented individuals come together to create something extraordinary. And now let's talk more about Thomas Brody Sangster cuz is the reason why I watch this series. Thomas began his acting career at a young age and quickly garnered attention for his exceptional talent. His portrayal of Simon and Nanny McPhee showcased his ability to captivate audiences, and it's understandable how he became your childhood crush. I am absolutely obsessed with Thomas Brody Sangster. It all started when I first saw him in Nanny McPhee. His portrayal of Simon just stole my heart, and he became my childhood crush right then and there. Those boyish looks and that undeniable talent had me smitten from the start. As the years went by, I eagerly followed Thomas's career, waiting eagerly for each new project. But I have to admit, there was a time when I didn't see him much on social media or in new works, and that made me miss him even more. I was craving that Thomas Brody Sangster fix that I had become so accustomed to. And then, just when I thought I couldn't be more obsessed, he appeared in The Maze Runner. It was like a spark reigniting the flame of my adoration. Seeing him on the big screen once again, bringing that charm and talent to life, had me falling head over heels for him all over again. But you know what really got me? It was when I started watching his interviews and behind the scenes footage. That's when I saw his real personality shine through. Thomas's down-to-earth nature, his wit, and his genuine charm captivated me like never before. It's like he's not just a talented actor, but someone I could genuinely connect with on a personal level. Now, I can't help but admit it I'm literally in love with him. It's not just his on-screen performances that make me swoon. It's the person he is behind the camera, the way he engages with fans, and the way he carries himself with such grace and humility. He's captured my heart in a way that goes beyond his characters, and I can't help but feel a deep sense of affection and admiration for him. So, as I continue to explore Thomas Brody Sangster's filmography and eagerly anticipate his future projects, I will embrace this obsession with joy and excitement. I'll cherish those moments when I catch glimpses of his true self and let my love for him grow. After all, it's a beautiful thing when an actor can have such a profound impact on my life, making me feel a connection that goes beyond the screen.
And now let's talk about Anya Taylor-Joy. She is an incredibly talented and stunning actress who has made a significant impact on the entertainment industry. Her beauty and unique features have garnered attention and admiration from fans all over the world. One of the things that sets Anya apart is her striking appearance. Her captivating eyes, which some people may describe as having a wide set or far apart look, actually contribute to her distinctive and memorable look. It's through these unique features that she possesses a beauty that is both unconventional and captivating. Enya's journey to success has not been without its challenges. She has been open about her experiences with bullying during her younger years. Like many individuals who have faced bullying, Anya had to endure hurtful comments and judgments. People who failed to recognize her beauty and talent used to call her names, and it was undoubtedly a difficult time for her. However, Enya's story is a powerful testament to her resilience and inner strength. She didn't allow those negative experiences to define her or limit her potential. Instead, she rose above the hurtful comments and found solace in her passion for acting. Today, Anya Taylor-Joy stands as a shining example of what determination and self-belief can achieve. Her success in the entertainment industry speaks volumes about her talent, hard work, and the incredible journey she has undertaken. Not only is Anya a remarkable actress, but she has also become an influential figure in the industry. Her performances in movies like The Queen's Gambit and Emma have garnered critical acclaim, highlighting her acting prowess and range. She effortlessly brings depth, nuance, and emotion to every character she portrays, captivating audiences with her talent. It's important to celebrate Anya not only for her physical beauty but also for her resilience, talent, and the impact she's made through her work. She serves as an inspiration to those who have faced adversity and serves as a reminder that inner strength and self-belief can lead to great success. There's something truly magical about the chemistry between actors, especially when they have a remarkable on-screen connection. I completely understand your excitement about seeing Thomas Brody Sangster and Anya Taylor-Joy together in future projects. Overall, these two artists are my favorite. Can I just say how much I adore seeing Thomas Brody Sangster and Anya Taylor-Joy together on screen? They have this incredible chemistry that just lights up the screen. It's like they were meant to act alongside each other. Okay, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoy the final result of the artwork and the chit-chat that we made about this amazing series. See you next time. Bye.